All right, so a little bit of face on here. Again, you'd complain that with your irons, you tend to hit it a little fat thin, mainly thin. Uh, we know that's for sure, obviously, you know, early extending coming out of your shots. And uh, as a result, most good players are going to figure it out, right? They're going to put the ball further back in their stance. And you see that on the left here. Uh, I like to see a middle line a little left of center. I don't like to see it in the center of your stance. Um, obviously, if you're hanging back a little bit on your right side, it, it matches better. Um, but we're moving more dynamically, right? I mean, the whole point here is to get more into your lead heel, keep your lower body in its depth more, get more rotation in your upper body. Uh, and if we keep your old ball position, you're just going to hit everything too low. Okay, so we have to boot, move the ball forward um, if we're working on moving your swing center forward uh, in your golf swing. We've got to make sure we pair those two things, all right? So let's go through the golf swing here. And um, when we started, as I mentioned, you know, we kind of dragged the club away, you know, lead wrist parallel here, club's not quite in balance. Little reroute as you start your downswing, get it into a decent corridor. You transition pretty nicely here into your lead side. Head stays quiet. We got everything looking actually not too bad, I'll be quite honest, at this point. Um, arms sort of dropping down in front of you. Pretty good sequence. It's just, you know, as you start to get into this sort of delivery position, you know, that's when you start driving this right leg, right? That's what I just don't like seeing is when you start driving that right knee and hip very quickly out in front of that yellow line here, uh, which is where the ball is. When you start doing that, that's when your shoulders start to get very tilty. So you can see face on here. It just doesn't look right. I mean, it's just like the left shoulder's too high, right shoulder's too low. Uh, you're really not creating a pocket for your arms to swing freely. And, you know, that's quite apparent when you look here at your, your arms. They just look like they're, they're jammed. Um, apologize for the shutter speed indoors here using my iPhone, but uh, we'll see if we can figure that out here down the road and get this thing framed out a little bit better. But you can see that just doesn't look that great, does it? You just look kind of jammed, okay? So we've got decent amount of spine tilt here, in my opinion. I'm gonna go ahead and just see if I can frame this thing out and pause it and draw this in here, kind of demonstrate what we've got going here. So you just look, a lot of hang back here. Um, not a lot of room with the arms. Everything looks kind of jammed, okay? Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, get through here on the one on the right. Much better set, right? You agree with that? So we've got much better set. We've got lead arm parallel, club loading a lot better. Um, definitely more imbalanced than you were here when you started. You can see here, club's out of balance. Let me just go back to that position here. And then as we start down, now you're gonna start to see you just look like you're more stacked, right? So we already look at it there. That's delivery, right? That's delivery right there. So we bring that same position down here and uh, you're already a little more stacked, aren't you? Can you see that? So let me make it really, really clear for you. Um, I'm just gonna draw a line here and you're gonna see this. So if I draw a line right here up against that lead hip, can you see how your left shoulder is kind of just starting to tilt and move away from that line? Um, whereas, you know, over here, there we go. You see where that upper body's starting to go now? Get that out of there, try and make this really, look at that right there. That's a thing of beauty there, my man. So that right there is a very, very stacked impact position and a very stable release, right? So what you've got there is, is uh, and again, this is a drill. I mean, you're definitely gonna be releasing the right heel a little bit earlier, but, you know, what you've got here through the golf ball is you've got your upper body more stacked on top of your lower body. You've got a little less spine tilt, okay, a little less drive, and you've got a lot more rotation. That club's exiting just so much more to the left, right? So you see here how that head is naturally at this point starting to move forward after impact. And for an iron, never a bad thing right here, okay? And then you're finishing with that right shoulder you know, a lot more forward and on top of the lead leg, right? Whereas over here, you can see how you're driving your legs forward when the lower body's definitely moving forward, but the upper body is way, way back. Like you see the difference? So that's ultimately, I think, what's going to help you not only get your flat spot more consistent and have you hit mines more crisply, but I think that's what's going to help you quieten your release with your hands as well, because anytime you're rotating more left, and opening your body up and getting that left knee out of the way, you're providing room for your arms to swing freely to the left side of your body. Once those arms start swinging freely, 
we don't need to use the hands as much, right? So if you've got some restriction here, but that lower body is invading the space, right, for which your arms are going to swing, which is what I see here with that leg drive. Look at that right knee and hip. Now your upper body is being thrown back and out of the shot, and then we're going to have to defer to the hands. Does that make sense? All right. And again, bear in mind, this is a drill. This is that flat footed drill where we're anchoring the right foot, stabilizing the pelvis. Once you get to about waist high here, we're going to allow that right foot to come up. You are going to finish like the picture on the left. We're going to get you over here. Okay. We're going to get you up and out of your posture. But what I love about it is how much better you are through impact. All right. Hopefully that's nice and clear. And uh, as I say, if you have any questions, just let me know.